Hello my dear friends, welcome to my class. This is the first lesson of Maths Standard 2. Do you like to hear stories? Then I would like to tell you a small story, a very small story. Abhinand and Nandana went to their grandmother's home to celebrate their vacation. And their grandmother lives in a village. Village is a beautiful place, isn't it? Lots of flowers, small and big trees, ponds, fields, isn't it? So we all like village. As they reached there, their friends came there. And they together went out to play. And they were playing under a big mango tree. While they were playing, they saw lots of mangoes. So they began to gather the mangoes. After gathering the mangoes, they began to count it. Now, here are the mangoes collected by Abhinand and Nandana. Now, can you tell me how many mangoes did Abhinand get? How can we find out? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. So what is the number? Five. Five mangoes. Now, how many mangoes did Nandana get? Let's count. One, two, three, and four. How many mangoes? Yes, four mangoes. Now, my question is, can you tell me what is the total number of mangoes gathered by Abhinand and Nandana? How can we find out? Yes, we want to combine these mangoes, isn't it? We want to count these mangoes together. Then we will get the total number. Come on, let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6, 7, 8, 9. How many mangoes did they collect together? Yes, 9 mangoes. That means 5 mangoes and 4 mangoes is equal to how many mangoes? 9 mangoes. Is it clear? After collecting the mangoes, they ate all the mangoes. Then they went to play again. After playing, they went back to their home. On the way, they saw some lotus flowers. Nandana liked lotus flowers very much. So she told that she wanted some lotus flowers. And her friend Maladi also wanted some lotus flowers. And both of them collected some lotus flowers. And here are the lotus flowers collected by Nandana and her friend Maladi. Come on, let's see. These are the flowers collected by Nandana. How many lotus flowers are there? Let's count. One, two, three and four. How many flowers? Yes, four flowers. Now, here are the lotus flowers collected by Maladi. Can you tell me how many flowers? Yes, one, two and three. So, how many flowers? Three flowers. Now, can you tell me what is the total number of lotus flowers collected by Nandana and Maladi? How can we find out? Yes, we want to count the flowers all together. Let's count. One, two, three, four, and five, six, seven. So, it is the total number of 
lotus flowers yes seven so four and three is equal to seven four and three is equal to seven four lotus flowers and three lotus flowers is equal to seven flowers is it clear in both these examples what did we do to find out the total number yes we joined two groups isn't it we combined two groups and this is called addition what is it addition addition means joining addition means combining to find out a total number we do addition plus is the sign of addition plus plus is the sign of addition or to find out how many in all what we want to do addition okay now in the previous examples we had pictures so it was very easy to add because we want to only count the pictures now how can we add two numbers let's see 5 plus 4 that means we want to find out the total 5 plus 4 here we don't have any pictures okay so how can we find the answer let me tell you here one number is a small number than the other and another number is a big one isn't it which is the small number yes 4 is the small number and which is the big number 5 so small number in your hands and big number in your mind so take 4 in your hand i mean in your fingers yes 4 now count from the big number that is 5 count from 5 like this 5 after 6 7 8 9 so what is the answer 9 did you understand another example 8 plus 7 here which is the small number yes 7 so take in your fingers seven fingers yes now count from eight eight after nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen and fifteen so fifteen that is the answer is it easy for you yes now another example nine plus nine here both the numbers are same so what we have to do take any number both numbers are same so take nine fingers yes nine fingers and count from nine nine after 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 and 18 so what is the answer? 18. Now, one more example. 15 plus 6. 15 plus 6. So which is the small number? Yes, 6. So 6 fingers. Okay. Then 15 after 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 and 21. So what is the answer? 21. This is called addition. So always remember to find a total number or to find out how many in all what we want to do. Addition. 
addition means combining or joining okay now my dear students here is another example that is addition of three numbers 5 plus 3 plus 2 so how can we find the answer in this problem we want to add first the two numbers then we want to add the third number with that answer let me show you 5 plus 3 plus 2 so first we are going to add two numbers that is 5 plus 3 so how can we add 5 plus 3 to add 5 plus 3 we want to take how many fingers yes three fingers and 5 after 6 7 8 so 8 then 8 plus 2 8 Plus two. So here we want to take how many fingers? Yes, two fingers. Eight after nine, ten. So ten is the total. Ten is the answer. Is it clear? One more example. Six plus five plus three. Here also, first we want to add. Six and five. Six plus five. So, which is the small number? Yes, five. So, take five fingers. Yes. Now, six after seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So, eleven. Then eleven plus eleven plus three. So how many fingers? Three fingers. Then eleven after twelve, thirteen and fourteen. So fourteen is the answer. Is it clear for you, students? Now I am giving you some exercises. First one, eight plus nine. Second one, fifteen plus five. Third one, eighteen plus seven. Fourth one, six plus seven plus five. And the last one, eight plus four plus three. So that's all for today. Thank you. See you soon.